Lionel Messi. Is these Messi's eighth Ballon d'Or deserving? Or was it just football politics? This is one of the major questions on the minds of many football fans, as Messi was awarded his eight Ballon d'Or at the Théâtre du Châtelet, Paris, France. The 36-year-old Argentine maestro stands at the pinnacle of individual footballing accolades. As his longevity and his continuous success made him the most deserving player for the 2023 Ballon d'Or, despite being in the race for 15 years, Messi's World Cup victory with Argentina and his Golden Ball Award as the tournament's best player has solidified his position for this accolade. Messi has an impressive season at PSG, along with his recognition for other individual awards, further support his deservingness of this 2023 Ballon d'Or. It's a testament to his longevity and just how long his reign as one of the best has been that he remains in contention for the accolade, 14 years after winning his first one. However, he didn't have it easy because he competed with Erling Haaland, the sensational goal scorer. The Norwegian has been menacing in front of goal since joining Manchester City last summer and is scoring goals at a rate that hasn't been seen in England in quite some time. The former Borussia Dortmund player has a very good case for earning his first Ballon d'Or this year after winning the treble with City and shattering the Premier League's goals in a season record. But we're here to explain why Messi was more deserving of the prestigious accolade. In fact, we've got five reasons why Messi 8 Ballon d'Or is very well deserving. 5. Messi almost single-handedly won the 2022 FIFA World Cup for Argentina. It almost seemed like it was never going to happen, but last year, Messi finally won the World Cup with Argentina, and it was the culmination of a truly legendary career. A lack of significant success in international football was really the only criticism anyone could ever really aim at the 36-year-old throughout his career. And now he's won the biggest tournament in the world with his nation. It's the biggest achievement anyone can gain in football and has solidified his status as the greatest player of all time, as well as the worthy Ballon d'Or winner for this year. Undoubtedly, the World Cup holds the utmost significance as the most prestigious trophy in football. Messi led Argentina to World Cup glory, showcasing his exceptional skills as the standout performer for La Albiceleste during the entire tournament. He found the back of the net in each of Argentina's knockout stage games, including a pair of goals in the final versus France. Messi stepped up in crucial moments for his team. Unfortunately for Holland, Norway failed to even qualify for the World Cup. 4. He won the golden ball in the World Cup. What's more impressive than winning the World Cup with Argentina is doing so and being the best player in the entire tournament at the age of 36. Throughout the competition, Messi was pivotal to his country's success, and the golden ball he was awarded at the end of it is a testament to that. The award meant that he hadn't only been successful as a team with Argentina, but he'd clearly stood out as an individual and was fully deserving of all praise. With the combination of team and individual success in the World Cup, it's further proof he deserves the Ballon d'Or. The legendary Argentinian has had a massive effect on the world of football in the last year. He broke the internet after winning the World Cup when he posted a carousel of photos with his Argentinian teammates. It continues to be the most liked post on Instagram with over 75.6 million likes and counting. That is the amount of influence Messi has on a global scale. Additionally, Messi's decision to not go to Saudi Arabia and instead join MLS side Inter Miami has and will increase the popularity of soccer in the USA. He has taken the MLS by storm and has scored 11 goals and provided 5 assists in 11 appearances in all competitions for Inter Miami already. 3. Messi did exceptionally well for Paris Saint-Germain. If winning the World Cup wasn't enough, Messi also added the League One title to his silverware collection. He was instrumental in Paris Saint-Germain's success in the French top division last season. After an underwhelming debut campaign at PSG, Messi delivered the goods. He scored 21 goals and provided 20 assists in 41 appearances across all competitions for the Parisians in the 2022-23 season. Additionally, he also topped the Ligue 1 assists chart, and it's safe to say that the Argentinian legend had quite a remarkable season at an individual level. 
playing in a more withdrawn role than the one we're used to seeing him in. Messi showcased his exceptional playmaking and goal-scoring abilities. His contributions were vital to PSG winning the Ligue 1 title. 2. Holland was much more reliant on his teammates. Without trivializing the phenomenal goal-scoring form that Erling Holland has exhibited last season, it would be unfair to attribute their successes solely to his individual brilliance. Manchester City have been a juggernaut of sorts for years now. Halen did add plenty of goals in his debut campaign, but even without him, they seem perfectly capable of winning the Continental treble. That's down to the sheer quality and depth of Manchester City's squad. They have world-class players in every position. The likes of Kevin De Bruyne, Ilkay Gundogan, Rodri, Jack Grealish, Phil Foden, John Stones and Bernardo Silva, to name a few, had excellent seasons as well. City's incredible achievement was more of a team effort, whereas without Messi, Argentina winning the World Cup is simply unthinkable. Halen scored 52 goals and provided 11 assists in 53 appearances in all competitions last term to fire Manchester City to a continental treble. However, it is worth noting that he didn't do it all by himself. 1. Erling Haaland has disappeared in big games. While there's no denying how incredible Haaland has been at City, and his goal-scoring rate is simply second to none, he has had a tendency to disappear in the biggest games for the club. As mentioned earlier, Messi came up clutch in every single one of Argentina's knockout stage games at the 2022 FIFA World Cup. To top Messi's achievement and pip him to the Ballon d'Or, Haaland had to do something similar. While he did win the European Golden Shoe and broke the record for the most goals scored in a single Premier League season, despite all his achievements in the 2022-23 season, Haaland has received criticism for his inability to come up clutch in crunch scenarios. The Norwegian marksman failed to score in the FA Cup and Champions League finals for City. In fact, he was a non-factor in both of those games. Holland also failed to finish the campaign on a high, scoring just a single goal in his last eight appearances across all competitions for Guardiola's side. While Holland's achievements would usually be enough to win the Ballon d'Or, it might not prove to be adequate this term simply due to what Messi has done for club and country. This tendency to go silent in crucial games cost him dearly in the race for the 2023 Ballon d'Or. On the other hand, Messi produced several jaw-dropping moments on his way to World Cup glory with Argentina at the 2022 FIFA World Cup. Congratulations to the greatest footballer of all time, the only legend with eight Ballon d'Or award. Messi's name has been written on the stones for this generation of footballers and also the next. We wish him all the best as he has reached the twilight of his career. Long live the king of football. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and click on the notifications bell for more videos. Stay tuned.